How's it going, everybody? It's Adam, aka The Real Simzo, coming back at you with another video. Thank you for joining me. Today, I am actually going to do some Digimon mail. I found some awesome STL files online, and an STL file is basically what you use to 3D print objects that are for some Digimon VPET stands. And I thought it would be really cool to have those just to set them up on my desk while I'm working, or to take them out on hikes and stuff, because I keep knocking stuff over, so it might be a really good idea to have something just to keep those things nice and safe. That way, none of them get damaged. Problem is, I don't have a 3D printer at all, and I don't know very many people that do. However, I do know a BMAC, and a BMAC does have some 3D printers, so I lit the BMAC signal, and my buddy hooked me up, and I cannot wait to dive into this box and see what we got. Let's go to the heads down overview and we'll check them out. So we got this awesome box and I did go ahead and scribble some stuff out so nobody can see what's in here, or at least nobody can see the addresses. That's what I was hoping for. Now I did light the BMAC signal and uh, thankfully he was able to help me out. And if you're lucky, I'll get some details and be able to share with you how you can also light the BMAC signal for all of your 3D printing needs. Let's go ahead and we got one more cut it looks like we need to make in here. Oh, here we go. Pegasus Printing. Check that out. Thank you, BMAC. Pegasus Printing. What do we got in here? Oh, man. It's all kinds of stuff. Like, I think it's from the, the filament. Filament excrement, I think is what you might call that. But here we go. These are the stands. Check that out. It's got the little Digitama on there with the little baby Digimon hatching out. And uh, I had him print me off some that are for the pendulums and some that are also just for like the regular sized V pet. So we'll have to see, I think this is a pendulum. Eh, maybe not. That looks like it might just be for a regular, regular V pet. Oh, it is. That is dope. So cool. And what else we got in here? Oh, dude, did you include some cool little uh, boats? Oh man, my kid will love these. He loves this kind of stuff. Loves it. BMAC, thank you so much, pal. Thank you so much. We're going to get all these out and uh, I'll do a full little review of these. These are so cool. So cool. Man, I cannot wait. I mean, I don't have to wait. I got them. I don't even know why I said that. Let's see if we can find one of the pendulum ones. Not quite. I had him print me off quite a bit because uh, I'm building a bit of a collection. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It just fits in so nice and snug. All right, I'm going to set some of these up. I'm going to get the whole digital fam out and uh, maybe up on the cabinets to show off what these things look like. BMAC, thank you so much, man. Again, Pegasus Printing. I'll have more details on website and stuff here uh, whenever we get back to the main camera. <laughs> Thanks, BMAC. So I had some folks asking to see some of the stuff in the background, and I also got in these awesome new uh, stands. So I figured I'd just show everything off all at once. Those stands are just so awesome. I absolutely love them. So to be clear, BMAC did not charge me for these. The ETL files were not listed as ones that he could effectively charge people for. So he was just helping me out. What an awesome guy, right? However, he is gonna be starting up a business that is called Pegasus Printing. And it is someplace you will be able to get printing services from. He doesn't have the website launched just quite yet, but in the meantime, go follow his Instagram. He's gonna start posting things that he's printing, and honestly, it's really cool. If you're into 3D printing at all, definitely give his channel a follow, uh, and at the least, keep your eyes open for some cool stuff on his Instagram, because once he gets that service up and going, it's gonna be so cool to be able to go and just get stuff printed that you maybe need and don't wanna have to buy a 3D printer yourself. So either way, thanks again, BMAC. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll check you next time. See ya.